Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. I wasn't planning on recording any more until after the new year, but um, I've been excited to do this. I'm actually looking forward to doing this. This has been recorded on New Year's Eve, but obviously it will be up till after New Year. So I hope you all had a good New Year and hope 2020 brings you everything you want. There's no recap to do because we're kicking off Season 3. Um, we've got obviously the pre-season tournament. We've got Siva Sport, Alborg and Clark Reek in the group. I'm not sure who the other teams are. I'm just going to take a look at Group B. We've got Brondby, Heidenheim, Lorient and Sandhausen. I probably messed up a lot of those pronunciations and I apologise. But the main reason I've wanted to record this so quickly is because we've got some insane little deals possibly on here for the transfer list. I've looked at some of the good potential players in the positions I needed. We've got Todibo here who's quite high rated. None of them have been scouted yet and they're going to need a bit of time to be scouted. But there is one person and we'll get down to him in a minute. We've got a couple of, we've got quite a good few talents here around 75, uh, 75 rated I think. Um, to grow quite high, but there is one man here, and you've seen him, you've spotted him. It's Erling Braut Holland, or I've probably completely butchered that pronunciation. And he is uh, going into Borussia Dortmund in real life. And we've got this. We do not know how much about. Uh, we don't know enough about this player to suggest how much to offer. You can scan further. But if you look on the right there, we might ha we have got a bloody hell of a deal here because there's a release clause. It's ten point two million, and that is insanity. I've been literally, I was going to record this after New Year, like I said, but I've been literally wanting to get this done just so I can try and sign Erling Braut Haaland for the team. He would be a hell of a signing. 20 years of age, only 10 million. That'd be a hell of a deal. So we're going to go into it. Obviously, we're going to pay the release clause and we're going to go into negotiations. Now, the one thing that could let us down here is we don't know, like the scout report said, we don't know anything about him. So we don't know how much to offer him on the wage. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and go safe with the wage, but I also need maybe them to put out the offer. Nice to see you both. Hope you're taking good care of you so far. I am bloody excited for this. I've got chills. Highland obviously wants to start every game, and I think that's I think that's confirmed. I think we can we can agree to that. I wasn't gonna make any signings until after the preseason tournament, but I saw this, and I can't let any other team get in there first. I need to try and get this. I need to try and get this signing. Three year deal, that's perfect. Uh, I'm gonna try and I think it'll count. I think it'll accept four years if I count it with four years. That's perfect. We could, oh, this is, I'm so happy. If this works, if this comes off, I'm happy. Uh, disregard release clause. And they've actually given us wage to work with here. Look at that. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we've signed. I think if I, I, I don't know if I want to try and switch this because that is per that's really good. That's a lot less than I thought I'd have to pay. I thought I'd have to pay 30k. 20k, yeah. In fact, I'm going to do a little, tiny little bit here. It might risk it. We're going to do that for 20 goals, just to say that we have the last word on it. How does that sound? Okay. He's changed it now. <laughs> I should have just left it. You know what, fine, whatever. I'm not I'm not going to fuck around with it. I'm not going to mess around with it. <laughs> I don't want to lose him. But we have signed Erling Braut Haaland to this squad. That is a f fucking hell. I know I didn't really need a striker. Probably not the main position we need to upgrade. But holy hell, I could not turn that deal down. I think you guys can understand why. I'm just going to look through here if there's any other release clauses. I didn't see any others when I was uh, going through these. We've got Arne Meyer here with a 22.8. Dominguez with a 17.8. We've got a couple, of, a couple of these now we might not be able to afford unless we uh, move some players on. Um, but holy hell, I couldn't... You guys understand, Todibo's only 11.5. If we can get a couple of players moving, we might be able to go in for Todibo. Arp was another one I was thinking of going for. But I think we've got the better deal here. I don't know what rating he is at this point in the game, but we have signed Erling Braut Haaland. That is the that is the highlight of today, and we're not even going to a match yet. What is his rating? 78. That is pretty solid. I'm happy with that. And he's got potential to grow further. Oh my god, I this that might be the deal of the deal of the career mode. He's going straight into the lineup. I'm putting this mail out. I'm sorry, Ismail. You're not good enough for championship. But we also messed up here because I need to <laughs> upgrade this centre midfield area. Which means we might need to let a couple of people go, unfortunately, to make this happen. But I am... Oh, 
Holy hell, I am so happy. Look at his stats. Mental and physical stats are incredible. All green, apart from a couple of yellow ones. And uh, his skill attributes maybe could go up a little bit. His passing could go a bit more. But solid stats all around. Finesse shot, speed dribbler. Only 20 years of age. He's got the potential, I think, of 88 raid. That is... I've actually still got chills. I've actually got chills. Look at that. Erling Braut Haaland has signed for Bradford City. He's firing us to the Premier League. If we can make a couple more insane signings, we we might be Premier League like Premier League team. We might not even have to worry about two seasons in the Championship. We might be able to go back to back to back. I am hyped now. If I wasn't hyped before, I'm hyped now. But of course, we've got pre-season to go through. And if you don't know how I do this now, I did it for the first season. I played all the games. But from now on, oh my god, I just I have to look at this again. Uh, by the way, I'm just, yeah, anyway, I'm going to sim all the games, and if we get to the final, I will play the final. But beyond that, I'm just going to be simming the, the lead-up games. If we don't get to the final, then I'll probably play the first game of the championship season. Oh. My. God. I still can't take this in. In real life, he's signing for Borussia Dortmund for, I think, around 22 million euros, which is, I think, translates to about 15 million. We've got it for 10 million here. And this is a year ahead of where we are now. Erling Braut Haaland has signed for Bradford City. I'm I'm going to talk about it for ages. we also got Dijon Sterling on a very cheap deal. I think he grows to a decent amount. He doesn't grow exceptionally. But he does have a good little... We've got a good little right back there for a few seasons. I... I don't know. I just... I can't take it in that we've actually signed him. But this is a squad for now. We need a lot of upgrade in centre midfield. It's really worrying that I, I maybe shouldn't have gone for that. We're going to put Brady in there. He's only 17. Still got plenty of potential to grow. And... Um, Obviously, I want a lot of the other sentiments to grow youth-wise, but we I think we need someone, a big name. I, was, I would love to sign Todibo for our defence, but I don't know if we should do that or if we should go for a centre mid. I'm really concerned about what to do. Because Todibo, the 11.5 release clause, I know he's got, I think he's low 70s as well. He'd be an asset to our defence. I mean, maybe we could sell on Hennessy, perhaps? I don't really want to. But it might have to come to it is I don't know I've got a lot of options now and I've kind of stuffed a lot of the budget for uh, to get um Haaland here but we'll measure it out to about mm, 15k wage budget we'll do that six million we've got to spend now we need to win this tournament if we're going to try and get to Adibo or maybe even someone else I don't know we we'll just have to see what happens we're going to sim at the first game though against Al Borg we're going to be playing the main team throughout the entire uh, the entire preseason because I want to try and win it Let's see what we get in the first game. A 2-0 victory. Carbonero and Roberts scoring. Haaland's not scoring on his debut, but that's not too worrying. We've got a 2-0 win. Most career, I've seen the other career mode YouTubers that try like put too much effort in for the preseason tournaments, but I actually like doing it. It gives me a good feel for my squad. Let's go into some training here to kick off season two, uh, season three. Sorry, Erling Braut Haaland will get his first drill as a Bradford City player. I'm just like I'm just getting in gently. Obviously, the rest of them will get the rest of the drills will go to youth players. Ericsson, I don't think I'm going to train him. Who was I going to train? Oh, Leary, that's all right. I don't know whether to sell on Beaton and Akpan because they're solid and I could actually be fine with them for another season. But I don't know if I want to bring in someone higher rated. Maybe I stick with um, Beaton and move Brady into that second spot, and. Sign Todibo, perhaps. There's so many there's so many avenues you could go down here. Can I get Carbonero to a 74 or will he not? I mean, if he gets an A. Oh my god, I love this game. I actually love it. Carbonero up to 74. Now O'Leary making way towards 61. Should have maybe got 61. Halland, not with a good first drill there, but it's his first few week or his first week, I should say, as a Bradford City player. I can give him a break. Oh boy, I am so happy. We've got a transfer offer for Conti, which I'm just going to straight up decline. In fact, I'm going to go further than that. I'm going to block offers for Conti. We're growing him as our own, and 
hoping he can come on in leaps and bounds. Maybe a couple of seasons will sell Kakache because Conti will be incredible. But I don't know. We're going to go into the second game with the same team. Just keep simming. It's like just keep swimming, but we're simming. They lost their first game to Sivaspor 2-1. And they lost to us 3-0. Hennessy picks up a booking, but goals from Hennessy, McCartan and Carbonero give us a 3-0 victory. And I'm pretty sure we're through at this point. So I think we can maybe calm down and pull out a second team here. Keep the main team fit for the qualifying rounds. Reading have shown interest in taking in Valery and Isimov on a one-year deal. I was thinking of keeping him, but we've got so many... I uh, like keeping him to train, but we've got so many to train. I think we're going to let it happen. And if it breaks down, it breaks down. But I think we're going to let that happen and see if he can grow out at Reading. Oh my god, this season is going to be fantastic. I think I, I'm hyped already. We're not even in the actual... Um, not even in the actual championship season yet. I'm going to rotate the squad here for um, the last game against Sivaspor because it doesn't matter if we come top or uh, second, really. Actually, maybe I'll keep it because... Well, why is it... Hold on. Why is it... Oh, whatever. We'll rotate it a little bit. We'll keep Haaland on there. In fact, I'm not even going to rotate it. They've all got full fitness. We'll just go with it. I was going to rotate it, but I don't want to waste time. We'll just go into it and... Um, same against Sivaspor, and we've got a rating up to 67 from a 65 at the start of the episode, I'm pretty sure we had. Uh, Sivaspor get a 2 0 victory, which is unfortunate, but that's okay, because they're the better team, I think. I think they're a pretty high rate team. I don't know, to be honest, but it doesn't matter, because we're through to the next round of the preseason tournament. Let's take a look what we've got here. Anisimov has gone to Reading. Adam Henley, uh, maybe Alfred, I maybe asked for a bit too much. That's fine. And seven hundred twenty k in the bank for um, transfer funds and stuff like that from the preseason tournament. Let's do some more training here. Obviously, O'Leary will get the main stuff. Actually, no, we won't. We'll give it to Banks because I just remembered his potential is ninety two and ninety four. That is insanity. Maybe we'll get a definite figure if I just keep him in for a little while longer in the academy. Definite exact potential because ninety two to ninety four is pretty. Pretty close to exact potential. We'll try and keep working on Haaland. Does that say he's only five foot six? That's oh no, six foot four. Where do I see five foot six? I don't know. That's a oh, I'm I'm fucking excited now. If you guys have any suggestions still for signings, I might have uh, fixed it all up for you because I've just gone and got a signing of my own without even consulting anything or anyone. We'll give Dijon Sterling something. He he's very close to seventy. O'Leary goes up, even though he's not performing too well. He's still getting D's in his drills, which is kind of annoying. Banks could have got a 65 if he'd performed a little bit better. And Sterling with an A, very close to 70. And I hope we actually get past Lorient here, but we might not. Can it stop giving me messages when there's no message? Like, a message prompt when there's no messages. Now, we're going up against Lorient. And I'm really hoping, like I've said, I just said, I already said it, but I'll say it again. I'm really hoping we can get something here. We're going to put Greenwood back in. If I were going to bring in Beaton from McCartan, I think this might be our starting 11 for the new season. So, well, at the moment it will be. I don't know if we're going to try and sign Todibo or if we try and go for a centre midfielder. We'll see after all the scouting reports come in. Sim this against Lorient. If we lose, we'll just go to the championship and play our first championship game. If we win, we'll uh, face the finalists. And we go 1-0. Van Damme picks up an injury off the bench. But Hloshek gets us the victory. I'm sure that's not a merit club horty in their defence. And if it is, they've done a very good deal there. But we are in the final. And we're against Siva Spor again, the team that beat us already. We've got 1 million from the semi-finals. That's beautiful. Noah Van Damme's got a hamstring for uh, seven, uh, pulled hamstring for seven days. That's okay because we're not going to be starting him in this match anyway. Maybe have him on as a sub, I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're just going to save quickly and then we're going to play this um, final against Siva Spore and then probably end the episode there. The main reason I wanted to record this is just so I could get Howland in before anyone else could. And I got him in and I'm absolutely overjoyed. We've got 68 rating now. That is the squadron that we're going to use for the final. Maybe bring in Akpan, I don't know. But holy, I am so happy that we got in Holland. We're going to go into it. Play the preseason final. If we lose, we lose. If we win, 
we get a lot of money. So we got this team. I'm gonna just I'm looking around on my bench, maybe bringing think of bringing someone in. Uh, I don't really want to risk it though. We'll put in Akpan actually, just for this game. And we will have Ismail on the bench. Van Damme's going to come off completely, so we can put Wood in there. I'm hoping he'll leave. He's no, no pun intended, but he's a bit of Deadwood this season. Like, he is only 24, and he could still probably, or 25 now, he could still grow quite a bit, but, well, like, he could grow maybe to 70. But I'm not putting, I don't want to put the work in with him. I just want to focus on the younger players we've got here. The young team is actually coming in quite well. You can see now we've got Sterling at 21. We've got Rossi at 18. We're all 24. Hennessy, 19. You forget he's 19. Um, Kakache, 20. Carbonero, 21. Akpan and Beaton, 29. We've got some experience in the midfield. Hopefully we can uh, swap that out for youth maybe soon. I don't know if we're going to try that this season or next season. Floshek, only 18 as well. He's coming on leaps and bounds. Haaland, only 20. Greenwood, only 19. It's coming along beautifully. A lot of these players have got really good potential as well. I'm looking forward to this career mode now. I'm in a lot happier position than I was maybe a couple of seasons ago. But anyway, we're going to head into this. I forgot to announce the team. We've got Rossi in goal. Kikachi and Sterling as a full-backs. Hennessy World as a centre-backs. Akpan and Beaton as a centre midfielders. Carbonero and Hloshek as a centre attack midfielders. And then Greenwood and Haaland up front. I'm not going to try for this. I just... Okay, there we go. I guess I'll try a little bit for one of them. But we are going in to the uh, pre-season tournament final against the team that beat us in the group stages, Siva Spore. I'm assuming they've got a somewhat decent lineup. Then, if they can beat our main lineup, they weren't top of the Turkish league last season, but I'm pretty sure they're quite high up. I think Galatasaray won it. I'm pretty sure you can go back and watch the last episode in my uh, review of the entire the entirety of season two, of course. But if you don't care, I'm pretty sure Galatasaray came top. There is the. Uh, well, the semi-finals, we won 1-0, simulating beating Lorient. They beat, I want to say, Brondby, but I don't know. And it's Siva Spohr and Bradford City in the pre-season final. A good warm-up here to go into the championship with. I'm so excited to get into the championship. I know it'll be a lot more difficult, and maybe we won't get to uh, the top. Maybe I'm getting a bit too excited just because of us getting a deal, possibly, of the career mode for Haaland there, but... It's crazy right now. I'm I'm so hyped. I want to record multiple episodes, but I'm only going to record this one because I'm still I'm already ahead of where I need to be right now. This is the episode going up for the second of January, and it's New Year's Eve, so it's like, oh, I really want to record. I really want to keep playing this though. It's so fun. I'm having so much fun with this career mode. So this is the Savage Sport team. I didn't actually get to look at. Well, I did get to look at them, but I didn't really take a big look at them. They've got Chifchi, who is a striker in Scotland, but I'm assuming that's not him. Any real names? They've got Dunga, who I reckon, I think I recognise. I don't think I recognise anyone, really, to be honest. Vieira was the goal. I think he scored one past us in the group stage game. There's something on the pitch there. Orange, orange something. I don't know what that is. But anyway, we... We don't need to win. For once, I think I've said this for the first time in about 15 episodes, we don't need to win. But we do get a good amount of money if we do get the victory here. So it's it's up to you guys. I'm just going to chill with it. I'm not going to try hard. or Well, I'm going to try, obviously. But I'm not going to, like, have a breakdown if we lose. If it's a bullshit goal that I concede, then, yeah, I'm going to be mad. But, I don't know. Akpan keeps possession, but doesn't get it to Greenwood. Here we go, Siva Spore look like they're mean business here. Switch back to Worrell there, come on. Oh, they definitely mean business. It's headed away by Kakache, and Carbonero is going to clean up, hopefully. Just boot it clear. Oh, that's going straight to a Siva Spore player, though. And we've gone so far in two seasons here in this career mode. And we've still got a long way to go, obviously, but... We've made strides, and Sterling's making strides down this right-hand side. Beat on. Through to Highland. he's calling for it. I was trying to get around the defender, but he knew, he just knew. He's like, you're going to turn me, aren't you? And he's like, I was like, ah, oh, fucking shit. Maybe I could have laid off the Greenwood, but I wanted to see if we could get Haaland. His first goal. 
in a Bradford City strip. And that's probably my aim today. Obviously, we want to win, but I kind of want to get Haaland's goal tally going. Oh, boy. Okay, it's wide. They're, they're trying. They are very trying. Or uh, trying really hard is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> My brain's not fully with it. It's only 10 to 11. Only 13, year, uh, 13 years, 13 hours and 10 minutes I'll be in a new year. But obviously, we'll already be in 2020 by the time this comes up. On to the... How do I lose a header? On to YouTube. Yeah, these guys are really going for it. <laughs> There's me that's just, nah. I would like the money, but I'm not going to, like, beg for it. And then there's them that's like, we need to put everything into this. Oh, to be fair, I'm starting my main team, so I can't really say I'm not trying that much. Well, I'm, I say starting my main team. There's a couple of players I'm not starting that are in my main team. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> controller batteries are low. Oh, okay. That's what's going on. So I may have to switch my controller batteries. Uh, <laughs> maybe should have done that before I started, but I, I thought I'd be able to hold up. I guess not. Oh, I was trying to pass it off so I get the fucking free kick. What is that? I hate this game sometimes. My controller suddenly dies, by the way. You know what's happened. Maybe I should change them now. I'm going to change them quickly, actually. Hold on. Okay, I think we're good. Yep, yep, yep. Sweet. Switch to Hloshek, for the love of God. I try to switch players there 300 times, but it just doesn't... I want to do it there. They are trying to build somewhere here. Cross goes in, the cross goes straight back out. They are pushing me here. It's offside regardless, but... Oh, I also I should have mentioned at the start, I've actually... What the... Oh, hold on. Is this cheating? Oh, it's a free kick. My brain is not... My brain is really not with it today. I would say, is he cheating for the goal kick? And it's a fucking free kick, isn't it? Because it's offside. Oh my god, my brain's off today. Oh, Carbonero, man. Watch where the ball is going. I hate this game. I actually hate it. I don't understand how that fucking happens. Let's right, go straight to Rossi. No problem. I'm struggling a little bit. Maybe because I played some FIFA on Professional earlier. Or, well, not earlier, but yesterday. And it's kind of like switching back to World Class is a bit of a nightmare. I was trying to get to Holland, but that's okay. Oh, fuck off, can I can't get through with him right now. It's alright, I'm not going to get goals with him every game. I can accept that. I just hope this is a strike partnership that fires us to the Premier League. Whether it's this season or in a few seasons. I'm still hoping Greenwood and Haaland are still here. Crossed and got by Rossi. Nice, just going to give a little bit up the pitch. Should be Greenwoods. I mean, it was until the bounce decided to fucking go nine miles away. I... <sighs> Complaints are beginning already. <laughs> And I said I wouldn't complain because it's a pre-season friendly and I don't care that much, but physics of this game are a problem. Is Haaland going to get there? No. I'm just, I don't care about, about what happens, I guess. I'm just happy that we've got Haaland for Bradford City. That is a hell of a signing. Kikachi blocks that for a corner. Oh, boy. What an episode. I thought he'd maybe be a little higher rated at this point in the career mode, but he's only at 78, but we can grow him into a sensational player. We've done it with Greenwood. He's already grown up six ratings since he got here. Six ratings for Haaland puts him to an 84, and that'd be phenomenal. Throw in to see if a spore. Okay, it's brought away. Beat on Haaland. 
goes down, of course, because he's Danger Man. Akpan closes down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to miss Akpan when I eventually have to sell him because he's going to be going, like, going down in overall a lot. Oh, fuck off, cunt. Why does the power... I, I don't... Why does the pass never have any power on him when I want them to have power on? Huh? What's the point in it? Like, what's the point in passing if it's just going to have no power on it? Fucking sucks. <sighs> I'm getting unnecessarily angry. Maybe it's because my headset's being a fucking shit cunt. Might be a part of it. Worrell. Okay, so we're, we're defending, okay. That's always reassuring. And there it is. It's about time. I went quiet because I want to fuck it up. But Erling Braut Haaland scores his first goal in Bradford City Colours. And it's going to be the first of many. I can feel it. Gets around the defenders, out strengthens them. He's got the pace, he's got the height, he's got the strength, he's got the power in his shots, and he's got the first goal for the Bantams. Completely against the run of play, I would probably say as well, but who cares? That was my aim today to sign this man and to get him his first goal. We've done both. Holy hell, it's crazy to see him in a Bradford City kit. Oh, he's going to be a key component in us getting to the Premier League. Whether it's this season, next season, or hell, maybe three seasons down the line, he's going to be a key component. He's going to be here for as long as I can keep him. Sterling needs to close us down, and he does. Can he keep it up? Uh, I don't know if that was the smartest idea, but it's come to beat on, so it's actually worked out. Haaland's looking for another run through here, and I'm not going to disappoint him, but I'm going to get closed down with him. And, hold on. He's got through here. One, two. Shoot it. Haaland. No. Greenwood. Yes. Rebound. 2-0. Bit of a scrappy goal. Wasn't exactly how I wanted it to go, but it's worked out. Haaland takes the original shot. Saved. Greenwood makes the rebound, and that is a strike partnership that I'm going to enjoy using. Hopefully, it will fulfill its potential that it definitely has. Holland with a goal today. Mason Greenwood, top scorer for us last season, almost top scorer in the league, only a goal off. He, he and Holland are going to be firing in the championship. I can feel it. At least I hope so. Anyway, two 0 now in this preseason tournament final. See the spore on the back foot now as we're about to reach half time, and there is the half time whistle. Maybe we can chill now a little bit. All I really wanted in this game was for my new signing to make an impact, and he's done exactly that. And from there, he's only going to make waves in the championship. Real life, he's signing for Borussia Dortmund. Could have been signing for Manchester United. In career mode, we've paid his release clause and we've got him at Bradford City. I'm s I, I'm not going to be able to get over the fact that I've signed him, just so you guys know. like I'm going to be talking about him the entire episode. Holy Christ, that is a I mean, that is a signing and a half, to be fair. You've got to give it credit to me. I've already looked at the match facts, so I'll look again. See the sport holding possession, but it doesn't matter when you turn it up. They can have all the possession they like, as long as they're not doing anything with it. Second half begins... The only problem in this career mode is I'd like to make a custom stadium, but I don't have them. I'm not on PC, so I can't have the mods for it, which is unfortunate. But I really want to have a new stadium for Bradford City, if not for the Championship, but for the Premier League, if we get, or I should say, sorry, when we get there, because we will get there. But I don't think you can. I think you have to stick with the stadium you've got from the day one, which is kind of sucky. It's just a. I mean, that's not even much to implement into the game, like switching your stadium. They should have an option for it, maybe every couple of seasons or every season or something. In case you want to like get a new stadium, that should be like that should be in the game already. To be honest, in my opinion, Greenwood, he's gonna get closed down if he continues this. I'm just gonna try and lay it off to uh, wasn't who I was aiming for, but Hlushek does have the ball now. If he could cross it in, Haaland could get maybe a header on it, but he's just they're just blocking it every time. I thought it was gonna roll off for I don't know actually what I was thinking there, but it doesn't matter. They've got the, <laughs> they've got the ball back, so it doesn't matter what I think. We're kicking off our first game of the championship. You can see it there. 
and I'll take a look, I'll give you a full load on the calendar once we complete this preseason. July 31st, we're going to be having our first championship game against Swansea City away from home. And that's going to be a test and a half. Which gives us, I think, about two weeks to prepare. This is going to be, it's going to be a tough test to kick off the championship season. I'm not going to be recording that today. I'm going to leave it till after New Year till I record that. But that is going to be a test and a half. Haaland, back into Carbonero. Oh, what a save. Thiago's gone to Paris. And we'll, as we always do, at the end of the transfer deadline, or at the end of the, yeah, after transfer deadline day, at the end of the transfer window, we'll take a look at the biggest deals and everything like that. And we'll take a look at our own deals as well, of course. Oh, shit. Aiming for Worrell. Oh, it's not exactly the contact I wanted on it. And Hennessy wasn't going to make it there in a million years over the goalkeeper, let's be honest. He's only five foot ten. <laughs> It's all right. Hlushik intercepts. Carbonero. Oh, Greenwood, man. Didn't need you to move into the middle. You could have stayed on that right side. Might have been a bit better, but... It's okay. Fucking... They're trying. Guyana now on the ball. Try to get into the game again a little bit. Tackle. It could be a substitution here from Sivaspor. We're going to make our subs soon. But not yet. It is a throw in for Sebus I thought it might be ours, but I guess the game's decided otherwise. The cross is fired over to Dijon Sterling, able to header that away nicely. Obviously, I think Dijon Sterling will be a placeholder right back. I think we need to maybe get, maybe another season or two, we need to get a high quality one. But Sterling, I think, grows quite well. High 70s, I'm pretty sure his potential is. So it's a solid little growth from him. It's better than what we've got right now. Henley only at 67 and Kelvin Miller only at 63 and declining. I think he might be 62 now, actually. I'm pretty sure he went down in overall. He's going to be declining. And at the start of August, uh, after the Swansea game, I'll do the first squad report of the season, see how much growth we've got already, which probably will be a bit because I've been training so a lot of people. A lot of the growth will come from training, but I think some natural growth will be there as well, especially on the parts of my strikers. Kakache with a tackle, no substitution. Furious coming on now for Vieira. Another throw for Siva Spore. I'd be nice. It'd be nice if Rossi could keep a clean sheet in this final, but it's not the end of the world if he doesn't. I just want to start as he means to go in the Champions League, really. Dijon Sterling once again headering away. It's going to come to Hlasek nicely. Can bring that down into Beton. Back to Hlasek. Through to Sterling, who's run the whole way here. Haaland. Greenwood. Oh, no. It was there. It was there, right there, but couldn't get the finish. It's unfortunate. It was such a good build-up play as well. It's just unfortunate it couldn't happen. Near beat on. Sits out for Haaland. Can't get around the defender and can't get a pass off either. And that's a hell of a ball through to Kilnich, but it's not going to go off the pitch. Okay. Hennessy just going to boot it clear as we've as we've learned that is the way now. I should be doing it more often than I am really. Haaland through to Greenwood. Turns inside. Didn't exactly turn as I wanted, but it's all right. Greenwood can win it back here, and he does. He's chased that all the way down. Done very well to win that back there. Beat on. Haaland. Got to turn back in. Lays it off to beat on. Oh, Christ. I was hoping Greenwood would run for as well. But our team looks strong, and that's that's a good thing. We look very good. I, I, I'm actually happy with our defence, although we do need a bit more quality in it, I think, maybe, if we do get promoted to the Premier League. In fact, I think we need a bit more quality in it now, but I'm happy with it. I should have just kept going. Why did I turn back? If I'd gone through there, I would have scored. <laughs> but no, um, 
I think the defense looks the defense is solid. It might not be incredible, but it does its job. Or it has done its job this match and throughout the preseason. Except for the first game against Sivaspor, obviously. One two, Carbonero. Tried it and failed it. Just gonna try to drop to someone. Ugh, cleared again. We're keeping the runner on half here. The we're pinning them back. We're actually gonna make a just uh, uh, what Italian then make just a couple of substitutions. Uh right, we're gonna make a couple of subs here just to Give a couple of players a bit of a run out before the season starts, especially Conte. Maybe one of the main ones. Uh, Meller's on the bench, and I'm not sure why. I didn't want him there. We'll just leave that now. Roberts is definitely going to be second choice striker, no doubt. Not even a shadow of a doubt. Ismail and Conte coming on now. And hopefully, we don't slip up here in the pre season tournament final. I think if we win this, we've won three international cups in a row. Or did we lose one, the first one? I don't know, but Greenwood's got a chance here, and it's straight at the goalkeeper. Maybe could have shot that a bit better, but... I like the look of this team. I don't know how it's going to fare in the championship, but I do know. I can probably say with confidence now that we're not going to get relegated. I don't think... If I can play well enough, we're not going to get relegated. I don't know where we'll finish, but we're not getting relegated. I can show you of that. Greenwood, Scott a second... And it's sealed, sign or signed, sealed, and delivered. Now I forgot the order of the words, but we've definitely got the little bit of extra money in our budget. And I think I might, if I can, try and get to eleven point five million in order to sign Todibo in our defence. The midfield obviously does need a bit of strengthening as well, but I think I can cope with it for another season. We got players coming through who are centre midfielders, and they're going to grow phenomenally. So I think we can hold off for another season until our players grow and we'll be ready with them. I know I said I wanted our centre midfielder, but I don't think I think we can hold off in that in that area. Pretty much is what I'm trying to say. And as for defence, I like the strength of our defence, but I think one more world class or world class potential centre back, which is gonna be Jon Claire Tadebo, if I can get him in would be incredible. The only problem is raising the money to get to that 11.5 million, especially as we'd have to pay probably a bit of wage as well because he is from Barcelona. But, uh, I don't know. Is it going to come for to Haaland here? Is it going to fall for him? No, it's not. I was hoping maybe that would fall for to Haaland there, but... Three minutes of added time, not that it matters. They can maybe get a consolation here and they might actually, but... Nothing more is going to happen for Sivaspor. Offside. And that's going to just call it, I think. I know we've got another minute of injury time, but neither team's going to get another chance. Con oh. It's his trailing leg that takes him offside. That's really unfortunate. But, I mean, they've lost anyway. Conti maybe should have kept his position a little bit better. I'm just going to yeet it forward to their goalkeeper. And he's going to try and put it, maybe. I don't know. He's just going to hold on to it. And that's going to end... The European International Cup final. We're going to get some more silverware. Another parade. Just for pre-season. We're going to watch it anyway though. Because a uh, trophy's a trophy. Here we go. In only five games. Holland has got his first trophy for Bradford City. Granted it's... Only the European International Cup. I think this is the third time we've won it in a row. If we go look back at the previous episodes, you can always check, but I think it might be. A 3-0 victory. A strong, solid showing from Bradford City. And Warrell lives another trophy. He's going to get sick of it by the time we win the Premier League, I'll tell you. I don't know what's in store for us in the championship. All I know is we're going to give it our hardest try. Carbonero, Rossi, Akache, everyone just posing with a trophy. Haaland as well. He scores two, or he scores one. Greenwood scores two. We get the victory. There'll be no post-match interview because it is pre-season. 
But we'll take a look at the stats. Fully deserved to win. The possession might say otherwise, but we had seven shots, seven on target. We actually dominated in chances. 9.4 rank for Greenwood. Man of the match for him. It's going to be a familiar sight. It already is a familiar sight. 8.4 for Erling Braut Highland and his, well, his first goal scored today, I should say. B Tom with an 8. Everyone else solid ratings. Conti only with a 6.6 because that's, that's really because he was, I think, the only substitution I made. Didn't get much time to do anything. Their best player, if we actually care, is Kofi with 7.3, although Apindangoi, I probably butchered that. I got 7.3 as well in centre back position. But we go on and claim another preseason trophy to add to our collection. A bit more money to add to the kitty. It won't be enough to sign Todd Debo yet. So we'll have to unfortunately let a few people uh, leave the club. But it's just the way the cookie crumbles. So we won the cup. We're going to get some messages here. We've got a transfer offer for Hennessy. Intriguing as it is, I think I'm going to turn it down. Because even though he probably will become our uh, backup Centre back once Todibo comes in. I'd like to keep Hennessy just for that sole reason to be a backup. 2.8 million. That's not. Uh, no, we're, we're going to block offers for him. I will put up some players to transfer list though as well. I think we've got 1.4 million extra. It's good to see your team winning the final. We hope you have a better idea of the tactics. We definitely do. Pass it to the Greenwood or Haaland and we'll put it in the back of the net. I think there's a tactic we're going to roll with there. We'll do the training quickly and then we'll go look at the transfer list. Who's still injured? Van Damme, isn't it? I don't want to put training on him in case he gets more injured within the training. Uh, we'll give our usual drills to Andrew Banks. And he's going to probably get two, two a time for the majority of the season. I'm going to keep him in the youth academy for a little while longer. I know I'd immediately promote him, but I want to see if we can get an exact potential on him. And if it comes back with the youth squad report saying he's just 92 at 94 again, I'll probably bring him up. We'll give a bit to Sterling as well. He could hit 70 here with a good result. I was also wanting to give one to Conti, but I couldn't find his name. It's Randonny Sterling. Am I blind? I might be. Keep you updated. Uh, he's not going to get much growth out of it, but we'll give him one as well. And have I given O'Leary one yet? I don't think I have. We'll give O'Leary a drill as well. Uh, give him a defending one. There is that. Banks up to a 65, Sterling up to a 70, Conti working his way along, so is O'Leary. We've got a good group, right, we've got some good young players in this team that are going to grow incredibly. I'm I'm excited. We'll take a look through the squad hub and transfer list, anyone I don't want. Unfortunately, I'll be saying a goodbye. We'll be saying goodbye to a couple of the originals of the club in that case, which means um, Connor Wood, I'm sorry. You'll be uh, added to a transfer list. Worrell, you're fine. As you're fine. Oh, it's difficult. I don't want to lose him. Ah, oh, we'll have to. We we'll have to. He's gonna go for cheap as chips as well because he's only got um one left, uh, one year left in his contract. Same with Henley. I'm probably gonna keep him as backup, unless a decent offer comes in. Meller, you can go. Beaton could stay. Most of the ones could stay. I'm going to keep Akpan. In fact, I'll probably have to uh, offer him a new contract at some point. Carbonero staying. Van Damme staying. Gibson can get gone. I'm going to recall him from loan. And uh, add him to transfer list. Anisimov out on loan at Reading for the season. That's fine. O'Leary staying. McCartan staying. Ismail staying. Hulashik is staying. Laganov will add to a loan list. Russo's really going to get loaned out again. Greenwood's staying, obviously. Haaland is staying. And Roberts will be backup striker, so he's staying. Okay, so we've got a couple of extra players added to the transfer list there. We've got no messages from any of the players we transfer listed, so I think they assumed, or they knew, that they were going to be added to that transfer list. We're going to sim up to the Swansea game now, obviously stopping for training in between. And any transfer offers that come in. Player chats here coming through. I'm glad you decided to sell me. I haven't been all that keen to play here. I think I'm moving the best for everyone. Uh, glad we're aligned. I'm just glad we're aligned. I'll probably say glad we're aligned for all of them because they're not good enough to be at this club. And Laganov wanted a uh, loan move as well. So perfect. Hopefully our, mate, uh, our mating, what? Our rating goes up um, because the players' morale will be going up. Hopefully we get a couple of transfer offers coming in. Uh, for the ones we listed, but we haven't got any answers yet. 
I'm just I'm, they probably won't get playtime in the championship. I'm gonna look at our budget after just to see how far off we are from hitting our target of getting Todibo. And it means we're probably gonna end up with no money for youth scouting, but I think we've got all the youth players we need at the moment. We've got solid we've got solid funds that we spent quite a bit of already. We've got solid youth coming in. If I can maybe um have enough to scout maybe one country, that'd be okay, but I'd, it's not it's not a must. It's not a I need to scout. O'Leary can have another and we'll give one to uh Noah Van Dam now that he is uninjured. Could hit a sixty seven with that if he gets a good result. He does it at 67 because he gets a good result. Good results all around. Banks a little bit disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. Van Damme goes up to 67. He could be running in for Carbonero very, very soon. Obviously, we'll be rotating him in Carbonero during the season. Not com like rotating all the time, but giving Van Damme some game time to prove himself and grow as a player. And it's good because it actually means that... Um... Holy hell, what the shit? Oh, these are all the scout reports, so... We've got a lot, of, a lot of reading here, guys. Uh, Boadu is one I was thinking again, but now I've got Haaland. There's no point. One of the centre fields I was thinking of going for, Bukari, Samari. Arne Meyer is way out of our budget. I didn't think he was that good. Dominguez has grown really well throughout his career as well, throughout his save. A uh, couple of free agents here that I still haven't got rid of. Abdu Conte was one we've had for ages, and it doesn't really matter anymore. None of those players are... Um, Going to be joining because I already have my plans. Although we do have a report here on Jan Claire Todibo. Value of 9.5, but these are, he won't go for less than his release clause. 21 years of age, 75 rated. He looks very, very good. Strength is good. Jumping is good. Quite fast in the defense. Those stats look very, very good. and Obviously can be improved on. Uh, we've got a lot of scout reports here. Um, Sassuolo have gone for William Saliba, who is one I was thinking of going for. But unless he has a release clause, I can... Uh... I think he does have a release clause, but obviously he doesn't because they've gone in for a bid. I'm going on the wrong lists here. Um, Saliba is one I was thinking of getting. I'm going to see what we'd get from him. He's ongoing a transfer for with Sassuolo. We'd have to... I don't think we can get him. Uh, Todibo will be the better deal. We can get him from a for a definite 11.5. We're at 9.6. No, I don't want to exit career. What I do want is for some people to come, into my, come in for my players. I know we won't get a massive lot of money, but just something, really. Uh, loan offer for Laganov. Yeah. You can go out to wherever the fuck that is. I think that's the, one of the Turkish teams. We'll uh, sim up to Swansea and leave it there. But that'll be our first championship game. And before I do go, we've got a couple of notifications. I hope you're going to include me against the squad against Swansea. I've had a good preseason. I'm feeling great. I like that you're asking for more. I might go to the experience lineup. Capacity match for a different business. I like to see you're asking for more. You are going to play. Uh, Akpam wants a match against Swansea. Uh, there's bigger games ahead. We'll just try and warn him off a little bit because I don't know if I am going to put him in. I was hoping those would be transfer offers, but unfortunately not. Let's take a look at the calendar then. So obviously we kick off on the 31st of, Jan uh, 31st of July against Swansea. Following that we'll uh, have a uh, home game against Luton. Our first cup competition match, I think it'll be, I think it's a Carabao Cup. I can't see because the chat bar is in the way. So I'll wait till it comes up on my stream. I'm assuming it is the Carabao Cup. We've got Norwich away, Sheffield Wednesday at home, Reading away, Stoke at home, Bristol City away, Sunderland at home, Blackburn away, Preston at home, Nottingham Forest away, Leeds, that should be a very interesting match, a local derby at home, Fulham away, Middlesbrough away, Derby at home, Rotherham away, Peterborough, oh boy, they're at home, they might go straight back down though, I don't know how much they're going to upgrade their squad, Hull City away, Barnsley at home, and then Brentford away. And then we've got Huddersfield at home, another local match. I think it's the first time in ages that all three teams have been in the same league. Uh, West Bromwich Albion away, Birmingham at home, I think it said. Rotherham at home, Derby away on Christmas Day. We're playing on Christmas Day, are you joking? And then uh, Middlesbrough to finish off the year at home. 
We then go into January to play Fulham at home, Birmingham away, Stoker away, Reading at home, and then finishing off January at home to West Brom. Huddersfield away, Preston away, Blackburn at home, Leeds away, Nottingham Forest at home, Norwich at home, Sunderland away, and Sheffield Wednesday away, Bristol City at home, Luton away, Swansea at home, and Barnsley away. I think we're going to finish the season against Peterborough. Oh boy, okay, cool. It depends where they are, where we are at the end of the season as to whether that'll be an important game. Hull City at home though, Brentford at home, and then finishing off, like I said, at Peterborough away. Big season ahead. But I think we're ready. If we can get Todd Ebo in before the transfer window shuts, I think we've got our I think we've got a good enough squad to push for maybe not playoffs, but push for top ten, I would say. If we can go for playoffs, that'd be insane. And if we get any higher than playoffs, we'll be exceeding all expectations, including the boards. I don't know if I've shown you objectives yet from the board. I'll show you that quickly before we end off. And here we are. We've got youth development. Within two seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season. Play at 50... What? Have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season. Play at least 50% of the games in the next season. So we need to try and go a bit more with the youth development, I guess. So we might not have to, we might have to keep some money somewhere. <laughs> Um, keep a streak of at least 85% attendance. We usually do that. Within three seasons, increase season ticket holders with at least 10% of stadium's capacity. Should be able to do that. I think I'll do that automatically. If we can get the results, good. I suppose that will make sense. Within three seasons, increase the club worth of your club by 100%. We've got three seasons to do, like it says. We've already done 12%, so it shouldn't be too difficult. This is the difficult one, though. But it says low priority, so it's not really that difficult. We've just got to do these ones. These are the main ones, I guess. These aren't too... Difficult. We've got no continental ones, but this is the one that we're focusing on. EFL Championship, you have to finish mid-table. I think that's probably where I would personally aim as well, but if we can exceed expectations, that'd be insane. And anyway, we've got to reach the round of 32 stage once again in the FA Cup. We always seem to bottle it in the FA Cup, and uh, I don't know if this season's going to be any different. So we've got 9.6 million. Obviously, I'm aiming for Todd Ebo, but if you guys know of anybody else who I could get for better with 9.6 million, uh, 9 million and a 15k wage budget. That would be very, very good. And we've got the three highest selling shirts here. We've got Hloshek, Haaland coming in and making a lot of sales, and Carbonero. I'm surprised Greenwood isn't on there. Season ticket earnings. We've done, oh, fucking hell, we're, we're doing quite well. <laughs> Look at those season tickets. 3,000, that's 25,000. That's only going to go up. Uh, loan recalls cost us 30k. Ugh. Gibson, can you just fuck off? <laughs> And um, player shirt sales, like I said. Why is it come? Why is it got player shirt sales twice? And why is that s slightly lower weekly earnings in this one? However, Flushet, Carbonero, and Holland are top three sales for the shirts. But that's going to end another pretty long episode of the Bradford City career mode. We're probably going around to about back around to about half an hour now since we're going into league football. Although I don't know because transfer window activity is still around, so it could be a, a few more days of long about a week more maybe of longer episodes i don't know how it's going to work out but i hope you guys have enjoyed uh stoke seem to have won their first game of the season 4-0 so they look like a bit of a uh outfit to um watch out for who did who are the unfortunate losers stunderland okay um but like i said i hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of breakfast city career mode we have got a long way to go still but we're doing incredibly well in our journey in my opinion i hope you guys have enjoyed for the millionth time and i'll see you very very soon when we kick off the championship away to swansea